Hi everyone, here we are. Look at the future forest. This is, these are beautiful little plants that are gonna go grow over 80 years into big Douglas fir. Get a shot of that. Look at the length of that. How many trees are here? Um, in this entire complex, it's about a million and a half seedlings. It's a million and a half seedlings. And the percentage you told me that will survive when they're planted in the okay, forest? 92 to 95%. Look at that. Look, imagine these growing into big, majestic trees. And imagine that 92% of these are going to survive. Exactly. And you guys plant how many trees for every one you cut? Uh, approximately three. Three trees planted for every one cut. And what do we need these trees for? Uh, carbon sequestering. We're gonna sequester carbon. And we can we build there. some homes with Absolutely, this? Absolutely, we can build homes. We've got a housing shortage. Why don't we build homes with Canadian lumber? The Americans have just hit us again with a softwood tar tariff. Remember, the previous Conservative government got those tariffs removed within 100 days of taking office back in 06. Uh, but that agreement lapsed under Trudeau, and we've been now three presidents that have hit Canada with these terrible tariffs that hurt forestry workers. All the more reason to use this lumber to build the homes of the future. We've got beautiful forests, and every time the industry cuts down a tree, they plant two or three of these in, in the place, which sequesters the carbon that you can use these. You know, it's, it's uh, like I like to say, there's a new, a new technology that sucks carbon out of the atmosphere and turns it into a building material. It's a 3D printer called a tree. We need to plant more, grow more, harvest more so that we can build more. That requires we get the bureaucracy out of the way to speed up construction permits. I will require the municipalities permit 15% more home building per year as a condition of getting their federal funding. We'll sell off 6,000 federal buildings, thousands of acres of federal land to build, build, build. Tax the carbon tax to lower the cost of harvesting lumber and transporting those logs so that we can build things more affordably, grow the trees, build the homes. What do you think? You're on side? 100%. All right, let's bring it home.